what does this picture depict eutrophication have you ever come across a water body that has such high severe eutrophication what is this this is algae yes this is algal bloom or algae so the question can be ma'am that when you were teaching me the food chain or the food web you said that in the aquatic ecosystem algae is the primary producer then how all of sudden algae has become the bad guy here so what exactly happens in the lakes in the lakes you have two types of leaf one is oligotrophic one is eutrophic oligotrophic lakes are the lakes which lack nutrition they lack nutrition and eutrophic lakes are the lakes which have abundant nutrition this is an example of eutrophic so does the abundant uh, nutrition ideally a good thing ati kisi bhi cheez ki kharab hai anything in excess is not good for the health of any ecosystem and eutrophication is such an example eutrophication eutrophication i have taken a very very simple uh, you know diagram to teach you eutrophication eutrophication mein this is one small river body this is some small river body and this is a field an agricultural field so eutrophication actually happens when there is excess of nutrition so now i am using fertilizers fertilizers are rich in nutrition second animal feces third sewage waste are these three are these three sources are these three sources abundant in nutrition abundant in nutrition and here nutrition means anything which is reason for growth of plants will be a reason for growth of algae as well that makes sense to us right anything which is leading to the uh, abnormal growth or phenomenal growth in plants will lead for uh, to growth for lb as well, uh, lg as well so i have these three things that is nitrogen phosphate and potassium so i am getting all of this through agricultural runoff in the form of excess fertilizer then i am getting it in the form of animal feces which are also dumped into these river bodies uh, sorry these lakes and then the sewage waste the sewage waste is also dumped which is again rich in uh, these nutrients it basically results in the excess algal production as you can see in the form of green layer first sub topic the first will be agricultural runoff what do you understand by agricultural runoff what is agricultural runoff आपने खेत में फर्टिलाइजर डाला यू हैव पुट फर्टिलाइजर यू हैव अप्लाइड फर्टिलाइजर ऑन दी एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड राइट एंड नाउ यू स्टार्टेड यूजिंग आइदर स्प्रिंकलर्स और अदर मेथड्स ऑफ यू नो वाटर बेसिकली प्रोवाइडिंग वाटर नाउ अ पार्ट ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर विल गेट एब्जॉर्ब बाय द प्लांट अगेन इट इज एज गुड एज अप्लाइंग एक्सेस फर्टिलाइजर इज एज गुड एज टेकिंग मल्टीपल वाइटमिन मल्टीपल मल्टी वाइटमिन राइट so multivitamins can only be absorbed in certain quantity it is not that if you start taking three multivitamin tablets instead of one prescribed your body will become a hulk's body or a he-man's body no body has capacity to only absorb a certain quantity and rest will be removed from your body through either urination or through the fecal matter this is what is happening if i provide too much fertilizer it is not that my plant will be able to absorb that or the soil will be able to absorb that it has its limitation and the excess of fertilizer will start moving out of the agricultural field either in the form of the uh, you know uh, providing water to the field irrigation or due to excess rainfall due to excess rainfall you have this rills you remember all this na rill erosion gully erosion you have read this right right so what were rills rills were the small streamlets 
very very small streamlets which can uh, you know form anywhere so when these rills are formed in the agricultural fields these rills which are having high quantity of fertilizer they what is what is the basic nature of water bodies that the smaller water body will try to meet the larger water body so these rills will start a movement towards the lake and will carry the excess fertilizer in the lakes right so agricultural runoff the excess fertilizer is dumped into lakes either through irrigation or rainfall then of course the second and the third source the second source is animal waste full plus agricultural waste and third is sewage waste all right so these are the three uh, main sources for how the of how the nutrients are supplied to the lake now let us see what is happening in the lake what is happening in the lake so this is this is a lake a healthy lake lake has some algae that algae is producing oxygen this oxygen is supporting small animals right this has some plants also has few big animals as well right mind my drawing so what is happening everything is hunky and dory everybody is happy it has certain biological oxygen demand now what is the biological oxygen demand of any water body it is it is the required oxygen of any water body to keep its flora and fauna healthy in very very simple language in very very simple language does it make sense it will have few decomposers also now what is happening then suddenly all of these sewage waste agricultural runoff everything will start getting added to my lake this will result in something called as algal bloom it will result into algal bloom which is uncontrolled population explosion of algae 